hello guys very briefly i want to take us through the third project for 3mtt data analysis and visualization fellows and i will be taking into consideration the data set that was dropped by the instructor for us to work on this data comprises of um, i think about um, nine years and we are asked to merge them together to consolidate them to to one sheet so that we can use them for analysis and visualization but as it stands now i'm only going to show us how we can consolidate and how we can add them together then later the analysis will come okay the first thing you need to do is you go to your home home ribbon then you go to data and you get data from from excel worksheets then you locate that um, folder that you saved the data for me this is where i saved the data i will click on it and i will import when i import it will it will continue to load when it finished loading then we'll continue but we can see it's still loading it's a very very um, heavy file so it will take some while to to load so let's wait and exercise patience as this file loads completely okay the data is still loading still loading let's wait for it to to load to load all it's still loading so please let's let's just take this this process to get the data consolidated okay let's let's still wait let's wait for the data to to fully load it depends on system but it's still loading it's still loading okay at some point i had to pause the video because um i don't want this video to be to be long but approximately it took about um a minute plus oh uh, yeah a minute plus to load on my system so now the next thing you're going to do is you will select multiple items select multiple items which i have done then we can select this i'll select this i'll select this 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 um this 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 okay i think i've select or i've selected all the years that i need because i don't need this i don't need this i don't need this so now i can transform i can transform data i'm already transforming data this will take a while also to load to take a while to load. when the the old thing was was um was loading i paused the video that's why we didn't see what really happened but it took about um seven minutes to get all these things loaded for me in the power query editor so the next thing i'm going to do right now is i want to append all these tables together so i will go to the to the append here append query so i'll click on the drop down then i'll use them um, <coughs> append query as new i'll append query as new still loading then i will choose three or more tables three or more tables the 2012 slash 2013 has already added up then i'll click on the 13 14 i will append 14 15 i will append 15 16 i will append 16 17 i will append 17 18 append 18 19 append 19 20 append 2021 append sorry i will add then i will add also 22 23 i will add then my 23 and 24 i'll add 
then when i add all all i'll just do is i will hit my ok so when i hit my ok it will start appending together you know this will take a, a long while to take some time for it to actually finish the whole process but let's keep watching let's keep watching let's keep watching it's appending already because if you can check here you can see it's appending already okay it's done appending it's done appending so this is all the table that has extracted it for me but there's something very important out of to take notes when i through to this side i can see different different columns that are null they don't have values they're just there and they have they are much so what will i do what i will just do is i will highlight this then i'll press my control key down i'll click on this i'll click on this i just want to highlight all i want to highlight all i want to highlight all okay sorry uh Okay, let me start again. I will highlight or I will hold my control key. I will hold my control key. Let me shift to the left. Okay, I will hold this, this. Okay, I think that's the last one. Then I will scroll back to see my data. Then I will go to remove column. You can see i have re remove column here and i have remove other columns that means i should remove any other column that i did not alight then i'll click on it then you see the magic it will remove those extra columns that are behind or they are at the right hand side to remove everything for me so let's let's keep let's keep doing it you see you can see he's removing them there is a lot of them a lot of them He's removing them he's removing them he's removing those because they are null they don't have values so if you keep them to just make a, a work to be or a worksheet to be so so heavy so that's why we need to remove it okay now it's done removing so if you scroll to the left we will not see all those null empty columns anymore so as it is now what we'll just do is you you click here you will close and load i can only i can also load to close and load to module but i don't want to load to the module but let me just load close and load and let's see what happened it's loading it's also loading it's loading it's loading still loading still loading still loading still loading It's still loading. Okay, it's still loading. It's still loading. We can see is is loading. It's loading. Let's wait for it to to fully append. You can see it's very heavy. You can see three hundred and seventy MB. It's very heavy. You know, it's still loading. Still loading. still loading you can see 
it has fully loaded this is the data set we are asked to append this is this is it here this is all all so i practically merge all this data here to this place and if i you can confirm from here you can see we have 2012 2013 to 2024 you can see you can see so but here from here i can i can see blank i can see blank we can we can remove blank control g yes let me let me just quickly do that i'm just saying that i, I didn't see it before control g Is it control G or how do we remove blank? I've forgotten, I don't know. Okay, yeah, control G, yeah. I remembered. You then you go to special blank. Okay. Because the data is much. No, sorry, sorry. I'm not supposed to do it that way. I'm supposed to copy all this. I'm supposed to copy all this. Copy all my data sets, which I've done. I've copied my data sets. Hmm, let me do it again. Let me do it again. I'm supposed to copy all my data sets. Have a lot of blank here. Why that? Why do I have blank everywhere? Wow. Do I have blank? Why do I have blank everywhere? Let me go down and see. Let me go down and see. Okay, I think I think that's the end of the data. So I can use my control G. I'll go to special. Then I'll choose blank. Why do I have so much blank on this data? Why? I'm just keep wondering. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have a lot of blanks. And that's why it's taking time to, to actually get it load. But I will not do it that way. This is actually taking a lot of time. Like why do you have such number of blanks? Okay, let me just let me just use this. Let me unselect or then let me select this blank and see. Wow. Wow. Let me let me let me. Okay. I think that's that's the blank. I think this this is where the blanks end. Okay, that's where it ends. So I can I can just delete. I can just delete. Let me just delete it. Should I delete it or I should just uncheck it? I don't know. I don't know. Let me just let me just take it up. It's a lot of them. A lot of them. A lot of them.
Okay. I think this way it ended. So I'll just delete it. I'll just delete everything. Even this, I'll delete it. Then let me let me bring back my my years. Let's see. Let me check whether we still have blank. Okay, we don't have blank anymore. So let me see how many rows we have here. That's two hundred and sixty-one rows. Okay. So I think I've been able to append this um, data set together and I've been able to remove the, the blanks to arrive at this um, 261,000 rows. But you know, we still need to clean this data, but I don't want this video to be, to be long. I will do the data cleaning when I want to do the project. So thank you very much.